Well, hello. Today I've got for you a Gravitas entry in um, a forced patina brass finish, which is a bit nice. Um, so if you haven't heard of Gravitas pens, uh, that is uh, an independent pen maker from Ireland by the name of Ben Walsh. And he does well many, many things. Uh, with different pen finishes um, and styles and materials. Uh, this particular one is, so it's, the pen is made of brass, uh, so it's raw brass, and then it's got uh, like a forced patina uh, finish, which is then lacquered over the top, which is stunning in my opinion. It's just the kind of range of well, it's basically natural colouring. Um, I'm not sure the process, but presumably accel accelerated patina, and then lacquered over the top. Um, it's just the the range in that is absolutely stunning. Um, so I'll talk in detail about Gravitas pens from what I know of them um, in a bit, but for now the pen. Um, so just above, just on the cap, just above the join there, you've got the Gravitas logo engraved in. Uh, each end finial has that pointed end. Um, let's be careful what you're doing with them, because I've seen little videos of Ben Walsh poking them through car window doors. Window doors, car windows, obviously in a safety-led environment. Um, weighty pen made of brass uh, we'll get to that in a sec so screw cap hard to see the thing there one two um then you've got a number six yovo nib with the gravitas logo there this particular one's a medium plastic feed what i do like about the um the cap on this particular one anyway is you know come straight off but uh, if you're closing that up you can literally just spin that shut just the weight carries that through that's very nice to me uh, section so just tapers in and then flares back out so you've got that nice contour and pinch point for your fingers there which I find very comfortable. Uh, if you notice in the section, so uh, it is a metal section, but it's got, if you can hear that, like the little micro grooved ridges machined in. So it's not slippery, that aids the grip nicely. Uh, if you're filling from bottled ink, you can, you can catch some ink in here, but to be honest, you wipe that around with a tissue that comes out. I've never had, um, as long as you wipe it properly, it doesn't take an inordinate amount of time to get the ink out of that. It's not, it, I've never found it to get stuck, stuck in there and then like on my fingers, etc. I mean, ignore that. That's because I've been mucking around with inks. Uh, barrel unscrews in quite a few turns, but it is secure, smooth, um, etc. Uh, standard international converter is included as you can see that is all a lump of brass that is so as long as you don't want to unscrew that every three seconds because <laughs> there is a quite a quite an amount of threads on there um but that is secure that's not going anywhere solid Feels good. No rattling in there or anything like that. And the cap, thankfully, much quicker. There you go. That's closed. And that's closed quite securely just with that spin twist as well. Um, so that's very nice. Uh, it does post as well quite deeply. And that sits very nice in the hand so if you if you're a poster or even if you're not i mean 
I often think I'd like to post this just because it, um, if you notice the barrel uh, tapers down to thinner at the uh, the end there. I mean, it does sit nicely in my hand, and then sometimes I get the desire to post that just to make that a little bit thicker there. Um, I mean, this particular model with this um, with this material with the brass. Obviously, uh, I'll get to weights and measures in a sec, but that does make a heavy pen. It's not, it's not, it's balanced nicely, so it's not like that's dragging. Uh, it's not back weighting it. It's not dragging your your weight back here, because it is really well balanced. It posts steeply, but it is then the full weight of the pen uh, posted there. You can get these in different finishes, uh, materials. So if you didn't want the full weight uh, of that brass, you can get them in different um, materials, which are a bit lighter. So as far as those measurements go, so you've got your capped, uncapped, posted. As I say, post very deeply, so it actually ends up shorter than when capped, which is nice. Um, so weight, it's heavy pen, 65 grams, capped, so the whole pen, then uncapped 44, and the cap on its own is 22. So yeah, if you if you post that, you've then got that extra 22 grams. I mean, it's it, like I say, it's not back weighted, but then you, that's a heft. You might like heavy pens. I, I quite, I don't mind heavy pens, um, but something to be aware of if you're thinking of the brass. And then just a quick say, so it comes in, or mine came in this pen pouch, which is very nice. Uh, not sure if it might be real leather. Not sure. Hang on. <laughs> not sure. Had it a while. Can't remember. Um, but very nice, minimalistic. Nice feel to it, certainly has that nice leather feel. Uh, I think he's updated these now, so it's actually a pouch with like a... Um, button closure um, so it might not look exactly like this if you order one these days but quite handy slip in your bag your pocket you'll also notice uh, there's no clip uh, Ben doesn't really do clips on his pens uh, I think now he does offer uh, clips that you can put on so you could buy separately if you do like a pocket clip you can buy them separately, I believe now, and um, stick them on. And I think they fit most of his models, but check that out on the website. I'll leave um, his website link in the description down there. Um, but it's not dissimilar to kind of the Caveco Sport um, clips that you can put on, uh, from what I've seen anyway. But most, if not all, 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 all the pens that he makes, I believe, are clipless. So for a size comparison, you've got the Lamy Safari, Leonardo and Memento Zero Grande, uh, Gravitas Entry, sorry, Lamy 2000 and a Jinhao X159. Uh, just for a comparison with some other Gravitas models, shapes that I have. Uh, so this is the Sentry, which is obviously very similar shape. Just slightly wider. Uh, so marg I haven't got the measurement of this right in front of me. Maybe marginally longer, but pretty much the same length. But uh, as you can see, just the the thicker. So if you like the girthier pen, very similar, but nice. I'm sure, I'll do a review on that at some stage. Um, this is, uh, I believe, called the the flagship model. Uh, so you've got your cigar shape, uh, and your Gravitas logo on there. But yeah, that's so they're all a similar on the length, but it's the going to be the girth and the shape that differs a little bit. And the what other one I have is this is a titanium, uh, grade five titanium, uh, based. Uh, it's it's a bit in between actually. Let me. I could have planned this out better. Um, Pop there, it's kind of in between the entry and the sentry there. Um, that's his titanium. Let 
do a bit of writing. Forgive the poor cat there. I'm not up to editing these days. So here we have the gravitas. entry. Uh, this is a medium steel Yovo nib and the ink in here is Diamine Aurora Borealis. That was me. Too eager. Uh, Claire Fontaine, 90 GSM paper, by the way. I haven't quite got the hang of this fast writing, but I'm going to give it another go. See that keeps up nicely. Not bad for wetness, this particular nib. Kind of standard medium wetness, I suppose. Um, no pressure. You're getting yeah. Standard medium line. Uh, then you can get a little bit, a little bit of variation out of there. It's not bad actually, to be fair. You can bring that up to the broad, a bit of pressure. Uh, go easy, steel nib, not a flex nib. Um, Gravitas does offer uh, flex nibs. Um, let me get this out of the way and I will go into that. So reverse writing. Possible. Scratchy, if I'm honest. Nib itself is very smooth. Just a bit of feedback, which is nice. And reliable. Never have trouble with that starting up or keeping up. Sorry. Just looked and saw that. I'm just doing it all over the place, like there you go, just just you know, move your head round to suit, right? Yeah, there you go. Better? Sorry. So what do I like about this? Quite a bit. I love the finish. I think it's a really interesting idea. Obviously brass patinas over time, you can keep polishing it or you can let it naturally patina. Um the idea of the forced or accelerated patina as a finish, I think is really good. Um, certainly makes for a very pleasant and different finish to me. Um, like section, shape, and little micro grooves for texture there. Um, weight aside, these, all of, um, say all, the entry, century, etc. post really well and deeply 
uh, but also stand long enough on their own to be very comfortable either way, whether you like to post or not. Uh, screw operation, I like. Uh, what do I not like? Well, not much, to be honest. Um, I wouldn't go so far as to say not like, but it's it's one of those, being with brass and a weighty pen, um, you might not be going for super long writing sessions. I mean, I'm not sure I've ever noticed too much uh, my hand getting tired with this as opposed to anything else. Um, but if it, it if you were sitting down for a long letter writing session or something, possibly you might want something lighter. But that is entirely subjective and not a judgment on the pen. Um, seals really well. Um, never have a trouble with that drying out. And it's just, uh, yeah, I just, I just I think it's really nice and a uh, good innovation on the finish and very functional. Um, just in general, I know I said the nib there was of a decent wetness. In general, in my experience, um, I've had a couple of nibs, one, two, three, four, five, three other nibs um, from Gravitas. They've come really well tuned, really smooth because I believe Ben does the tuning himself, um, just on the dry side. But that's my personal preference uh, to like pens a little bit wetter, nibs a little bit wetter. Um, so I have been able to wet them up to my tastes, but um, that is a completely subjective thing. I suppose it's easier to send a well-tuned dry nib out and people can wet them up rather than trying to dry out an extra wet nib. So fair enough, I suppose. Uh, as I mentioned, um, variety of models, I've got a few other ones which I will review in the future. Um, variety of materials uh, for most of his pens and materials and finishes. Uh, he's always looking to do something new. But I would recommend checking his website out for something that might suit you. Oh, I mentioned flex nibs. I, I believe he now does uh, There's a steel flex and... A titanium flex uh, with a polymer feed I think I've not tried them out but I will do one day uh, price of the entry around about a hundred euros uh, depending on material finish whether or not you get um, a specialist nib on it I think the flex the titanium flex is a bit more I think he's just started offering gold nibs as an option so I'm not sure about which models he offers them on at present, but check out his website. Okie doke, that is the Gravitas entry in patinated brass finish. Um, great pen. Check him out. Have a nice day. Catch you later.